Okay, welcome to our third shir on uh, Masech des Brachas. And now we're going to continue with the, um, the flow of the Gemara. Now, just to review, <clears throat> let's go back to the beginning very quickly. We'll go back to the, the first uh, reference of the Gemara, and then we'll, we'll move on. Now, the Mishnah said, here we go. The Mishnah, again, we start, and this is going to be really important because we have an interesting thing today where instead of a flow of logic, right, straight, um, you know, statement, question, answer, we're actually going to go off to the side and go back to the beginning and ask a question. I'll explain what that means. And thankfully, Rabbi Spivak gave us some visuals that will help us. Okay, so we started... We started initially over here. We said, Tfilos um, HaShachar <clears> Abchatzais. <throat> Tfilos HaShachar is until, you can dive the until noontime. Rabbi Yehuda says, till four hours. That was a quote from the Mishnah. Um, now we ask a question. Again, we have a Kasha icon here. We have a question that we have a Brisa, a different statement, Mitzvah Im Hanei that the mitzvah of Shema is all the way until sunrise. And again, remember, we, we, these brackets mean that it's not a literal translation, but it's like somebody whispering in your ear something you need to know to give it context. So mitzvah sa is the mitzvah is. But we're, we're going to... Um, the word of Shema is, is a reference to let you know. Okay, imhane tzachama. Okay, so just wanted to review that because it's a really important uh, a part of understanding, you know, this whole the whole Gemara and, and how it flows and how this translation works. And like Art Scroll and the others also have uh, um, similar translations. And excuse me. So what we have is excuse me. So what we have is. Um, the translate what they what they have is these brackets. So imanitzacham means with sunrise. But when you want to get it completely, you say to finish the last bracha with sunrise. So in other words, if you were reading it to somebody in English, you would read exactly this English side with all the extras, so to speak. Uh, but the Gemara makes assumptions that we know it. Okay, kadesh yismach ulo lotfilo. Back to so mitzvah is netzachama. That's a question because it's different than the other two. So we should have geula next to tefila, gal yisrael next to shemayne esrei, venimtza. And it turns out mispalal biyoyim. He winds up saying shemayne uh, esrei during the daytime, and we call that we call that vasikim. Vasikim were people who were who were very careful about observing mitzvahs as well as possible. So now we have three. We have three shitas of the Gemara. We have three, um, in, you know, opinions as to when we could say Kriya Shema. And that the reason that we have a conflict is because we thought there were only two. So the first one, the Chachamim says that you go up until here, right? That this is the, from here to here, this entire space, six hours, is when you're allowed to say Kriya Shema. And Rabbi Yehuda said, um, excuse me, uh, so that, those were the words of the Chachamim. And Rabbi Yehuda said, Ad Arba Asha, it's only four hours in the day. So he says less, that means up until here, and this entire time was the amount you're allowed to. And now we have a kasha from a brysa, and like we saw, this is the, the, these two folks here, right? The brysa and the Mishnah are in conflict with each other. And <clears throat> this is what's giving us a hard time, because the Mishnah said, you can only daven for four hours a day. And the Brysa said that you, you have that the time for it is sunrise. So that's obviously a conflict. Um, and here what we're saying is, according to the Brysa, it says right at the second, I can't draw that thin, but it means right at the second when you start uh, the, the time that it's uh, okay to say Krishna, it seems that that's what you have to do is to say it at, the, at sunrise and then your your Saimach Gu'ula Latfila. Okay, so so let's go back to um, so let's go let's move ahead now. So I didn't do I did the homework sheets yesterday in Shear too. Um, we had we had the homework sheets as well. And what we answer is a very short terrace, Kitanya, when did we learn this? Levasikin, 
This was meant for special people who love mitzvahs and rush to do them. So th this is the translation of the word Vasikin, are people who love to, to do mitzvahs. So now we, we're, we're good. So we fixed up, right? We had a broken, this was broken. This, this is a visual trigger again. So the Havamim, and initially we thought that the Bryce is talking that everyone has to do it, everyone. And now we're saying, no, that's only Vasikin. The only folks who did this were Vasikin, but no, people didn't have to do it. Okay, so now we resolve the conflict. The trains are, <laughs> the trains are doing fine. And I'll prove it to you. And this is a proof for the fourth step is a proof. The Amar, Rabbi, uh, that, that abbreviation here means the uh, Amar um, Rav, that Rabbi Yachman said, Vasikin, the, the very careful people, they would say, Shkriyashma, Im Netzachama with the as soon as the sun the sun set. So when the sun set, they would the Vasikim would would finish it. And that 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 the reason that it's okay is because it fills it works well with the flow. And and I'm going to review this because this is really an important part of understanding as we get to more questions. Well, I just want to keep this uh, clear to you. So we're underlining the memory, the statement, Phyllis Ashachar. Ad Chatzais, Rabbi Yehuda, and Ad Dalat Shais. Rabbi Yehuda says until four hours. Now we have to bracket the Kasha. Verminu, we start with the question. Mitzvah im Haneitzachama. The mitzvah is until at Neitzachama. Kedeshi Yismach Guula Lutfila. Vinimtza Mispal Biyom. So you should make Gal Yisrael next to Tfila. And it turns out that you daven during the day. So that's the question. And the Teret says Kitanya Ahila Vasikin. I'm supposed to circle that. So Ahila Vasikin. This is for Vasikin. Vasikin were people who were very um, scrupulous about doing mitzvahs. The Amr Rav Yechanan is a proof, we put a parenthesis, Vasikin are you done with Imanetzachama. Okay? So I'm not going to do the other exercises, but um, we'll see when we, when we have this one soon, we're going to see what, what it, how, how it adds. By the end of this year, we're going to get to that. So now the Gemara asks a question. Remember we said that we, we had an important rule yesterday that the tone, the way a person says something, um, sometimes is an indication of what, what they meant. In other words, if you're just reading it in a paper, it won't come out clearly. So, Yankee, where's your homework? A dog ate it. That's a statement. And then he says, a dog ate it? So that's cool. We call this bitmia. A bitmia means a wonder. And now he's looking at it with wonder because um, he, He's, something doesn't make sense. And that, this is what we did in the last year, and then we'll move on and finish this, this small, this sodium. So we asked the Huli Alma, everybody, the, right? And everyone, at Chatzais was so like, and they only do until Chatzais, and not this word over here would be more, right? Not anymore. Here is Kuli Alma, is everyone would go in that space. Vaha Amar, Rav Mari, Bereid Rav Huna, Bereid Rav Yemir Bar Abba, but Rav Mari, the son of, that would just be of, the son of Rav Huna, the son of, of uh, Abba said, Am um, Rav Yechanan, Rav Yechanan said, in the name of Rav Yechanan, Ta'av, Allah, Mispalal Arvis, if he made a mistake and he didn't daven, Mayriv, Mispalal B'Shach Rishtayim, he davens twice, um, but af one after Shachris, he davens another one. Shachris, now, you see, look at this. There's really a little pause there. Now, if you look in the Gemara, you won't see Nekudos. You won't see dots there. So th this is where the translation here and Rabbi Spivak's notes come in so helpfully. Because here he said, Tavala hispalo arvis, mispalo b'shachris, you pray, you daven shachris twice. Sometimes if you get a mishmash and you'll say, shachris mispalo, mispalo shachris, shtayim shachris. You know, sometimes you can run in. So look on the side, the two times, we're explaining here, this is what the two times mean, one for Shachras and one to make up the Tefillah of Mayrev. And this bracket here, right here, this one, is really important because we say, if you made a mistake and didn't daven Shachras, that's what we call a whisper, right? The Gemara assumes that you'll know this, Mispalel Mincha Shtayim, Yidav Mincha twice. So, going back to the question now, <clears throat> let's go back to the question. Sometimes, um, we get kind of distracted sometimes by a long piece like this. This is all, uh, my dear Talmidim, um, Talmidas, 
This is, um, this is part and parcel of learning Gemara. It's being able to follow the steps as they go through. And what's really, really important is to try to remember to stay on that whatever we're, we're doing then because sometimes you can get distracted by you know following the bouncing ball it talks about people and about chakras and a new thing that we didn't we, we didn't hear about this myra and missing so we have to always bring it back to the gemara that's the important part so bring it back to the gemara um and this brings it back um kuli i may so but this is really the 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 question here right we started off we started off remember we started off that this is a question um and in a moment we'll add something to this discussion but we have a kasha this this color code means it's the same discussion um so the entire day he may daven and you know and, and be also continue uh, he could just continue davening. So why did we say, so again, if the Gemara is asking, I'm reading from here, if the Gemara is asking that a person can make up shachras so he could daven any time of the day, why did the Mishnah say that you can't daven after chatzas, okay? And the way we had it here, right, so far we said, that remember the Chachamim said originally that they had this six hour spread if you learn, according to Rabbi Yachanan, we have 12 hours that you could have in Shachas because you could have in Mincha twice. Okay, so again, we have a different type of conflict here. The Mishnah says that you can't, whoops, the Mishnah says that you can't daven after Chatzais. The Mishnah says that you can only daven until um, six hours in the day. And Rabbi Yachanan came along and he said, one who didn't daven Shachas can make it up all day long. So these two things are in conflict with each other, and we're gonna we're gonna work on fixing that. Okay, so right now we have a conflict. This is the next step of the Gemara, and we have a conflict. Um, you want to do this? Yeah, why not? Okay, hey, let's go. Underline here, let's do this one number two. Um, retranslate and explain. Uh, you can review the, the that way, but let's underline the words of Rabbi Yechanan. Okay, because we had this whole conversation, Rab Mari said in the name of Rab Huna, Amar Rabbi Yechanan, Tav Aris. Okay, so Rabbi said that we should underline it, so we'll do that. But really, another way of thinking about it was putting up quotation marks. Amar Rabbi Yechanan, Rabbi Yechanan said, Tav, you made a mistake, Lai Hispal Al Arvis. Um, you know, and if we were putting the kudos here, Let's, let's do something interesting and let's imagine that we were putting in, we were trying to put in punctuation here. Maybe we'll do that even though Rabbi Spivak didn't ask us to, but that might be helpful. Um, okay. So what we would do here, ta'a v'lai hispal arvis, I would put a comma here. This is just a, a comma. If he didn't daven, myrev mispal el I would put like a period here, right? Or, or, at least a, a semicolon. So I would put, he davens shachras twice, and then we have a new thing, shachras mispalu b'min chashtayim. Now, when do we end the quote? This is what we're trying, okay? Mispalu b'min chashtayim. This is important. So again, we don't have nekudas, we don't have roadmaps. Rabbi Spivak was encouraging to, us to go over and make sure we're precise and we know where the statement begins and ends. And so the real question is, now that we know this from Rabbi Yechanan, Kula Yaime Matzli Ve'azel. So put brackets around the introduction to the Kushya, right? We have an introduction to a question. So Kula Yaime Matzli Ve'azel. So you could daven the entire day long. Okay? So this was a bitmia, and now we have a question. Now, um, Rebbe, what Rebbe's um, asking us to do here is to take it apart. And what we you know, some, if you remember, some of the things we have, the homework, that the worksheets that are given was putting it all together. Here, it's kind of taking it apart, right? So this step of the Gemara is Akasha. We said that, right? It's Akasha. Um, and, but now there's three parts to the step, right? 
The first part is um, highlight the three items. <laughs> okay, um, so each in a different color. So where's my colors? Here we go. Okay, so here's we're going. The kuli alma ad chatzois v'sulai. This is like an introduction, right? We're saying we're, we're asked, we're framing the question: Is there, did everybody say until chatzois and no longer? Okay, v'ha'amar. And by the way, this, this color stuff sometimes could be really, oops, <laughs> this is yellow. This, this coloring could, could really be helpful because it will help you really understand the Gemara. Of Amar of Mari, Bray, okay, so Rav Mari said in the name of Huna, all, of, all the way till here. Okay, so we have a long one. This entire section is one long statement, and it ends with Mispal al and then we finish the question by saying, matzli. So if so, then he should say the whole day. Okay, so matzli. he should say the matzli ba'azl. So that, that goes to 12 hours. Okay, I'm going to leave that the true or false, and we'll finish the sugya here. We'll finish with the tarots. Um, and the, now the Gemara is going to ask the question. And okay, so the Gemara says, Ad chatzais, until, this is a terence, Ad chatzais, until noontime, the six hours, Yahiv, Yahvile, they give him, it means Hashem gives him, schar tfila bezmana. So this over here, this would be, they give him, okay, they give him, they give the, um, since it's not that obvious, we'll put it in here. So they give him, Yahivle, they give him, Schar tfila bismana, the reward for davening on time. Okay, the schar reward in shamayim. Remember that's parentheses for davening in its proper time. Mikan va'elech from chatzais and on. Schar tfila yahivle. They give him same thing as before. They give him. <laughs> I'm not going to write it again, but you know what I mean. So they give him schar for davening. Schar tfila bismana to daven tfila on time. So it's like you get you get second prize. So we you do daven a second time, but really it's like a makeup, right? It's like something not this kind of makeup. It, it's a makeup something that you do later because you did something wrong. So you're going back and making up something that you missed. So so that's the answer. So let's get back to the original. When let's go back a little and look at that um, the, the train thing where we had the um, the, the two diagrams. Here we go. So we had the two diagrams. Now originally, remember the question was that that here, right? That they said um, the Mishnah said only to Chatzais. Rabbi Yechonin said all day long. So we say this is this is full schar. Right here you get you get full reward for Tefillah Bizman. And here you get half, you get like, you get schar reward for davening, but you don't get reward for davening on time. And when the Chachamim gave their ruling, they were only talking about giving full schar. So we have a makeup, but that doesn't count in the, in the scheme of things. Okay? So, ad chatzais, yahiv late, until chatzais, he is given schar tefila bezmana, the, the, the reward of tefila on time, mikan ve'elech, from that point and on, schar tefila yahivle, he does get the, the reward for tefila, for davening, yahivle, they give him. Schar tefila bezmana, zman means a time, okay, bayamim ahem bezman hazeh, right, we say, bayamim ahem, in those days, bezman hazeh, in Hanukkah, so zman is a time, in those days, and in this time. Um, so we don't get schar for davening in its proper time, and therefore we fixed up the Gemara. And, and this really is a conclusion, okay? So um, we're, Rebbe, did a, Rebbe did a better job of coloring here, just for the record, okay? So now we have the, we, Mishnah and Rabbi Yachinen are not in conflict with each other. We'll do the review sheets and we'll call it a day, but this, is again a real, I'll show you something that's really important for your understanding of how, um, how this flows. So this tarot is another example 
of a maskana. Maskana is one of the steps that we described uh, at the beginning, meaning it's a ruling that corrects a hava amina. Hava amina is what we first thought. So when we asked the kasha, we thought that our hava amina was that he could daven all day for 12 hours and still get full scar. Uh, we had a kasha because we made an assumption about what Rabbi Yechina meant. And we really didn't have a right to make that assumption because he didn't say this. So let's review this again. Remember, when you see this break here, that means something is not in order in the Gemara. That's a, a, a cue to you that something is not, need, needs, a little, needs a little work, right? So, so, not, so what we're saying is, um, Rabbi Yechinen, I'm, I'm reading this now, Rabbi Yechinen meant that when you make up for shachris by davening twice by mincha, you will get the same scar as someone who davened shachris in the morning. And if that's the case, it should have said 12 hours there. We come with a maskana, means final ruling. Rabbi Yechinen meant that by davening a second mincha, you get some scar, you get some reward, but you don't get the full reward. So now, um, here, we're back now. Let's just do this chart. This is Schar Tfila Bizman, which the Chacham said all along. And this is, we'll make, we'll make a dotted line, because it's only like half Schar, right? So this, the Rabbi Yechelen was talking about the fact that, that this has Schar Tfila, that both riding the train in the same direction, and we're all good, okay? And, and Rabbi just gave an example here about Rabbi Yechelen with an exa- a muscle. You got a book report, it's due on Monday. If a boy didn't have it on Monday, the teacher would say, bring it on Tuesday, right? It means it's, that's very good. So it's better to hand it in late than not at all. So this is how you would interpret, what, it, what does the teacher mean when he say, bring it in Tuesday? He said, listen, I didn't want you to bring it Tuesday. You should have brought it on Monday, right? The student would, might lose some points for it, but he won't get a zero. So this is what we're saying. So Rabbi Yechanan said, obviously, in Shemayim, they don't necessarily do things that way, but that was the big idea. Rabbi Yechanan said that if a person, of course a person should daven before Chatzai, so four hours, but Rabbi Yechanan was just letting us know that if there was a mistake, um, if he wound up making it up, then it goes. Let's go now to, the, to, to this, put it all together. Um, retranslate and explain. Okay, I, we just did this, but let's just review. Right? Everybody said until Chatzais and nothing. But we have the statement of Mari Breder of Huna, Breder of Yirmi of Abba, Amar Rabbi Yechanan. Right? This whole thing. And then here's, remember, here's the quotations. Ta'av lo hispalal arvis mispal kama mispalal b'shachris shtayim. We daven twice with a period. Um, twice shachris. Shachris kama, if you forgot shachris, Mispalal um, b'mincha shtayim. So then we daven mincha uh, uh, twice. Then we have a question: Kule yarme matzli va'azel? Question mark. So you could daven the whole day. Kol is all. Kol Yisrael, Arayim Zal, all Jews are connected to each other. So matzli va'azel, you could continue to daven. And now we start the teretz. At chatzais, you have leschar tefila b'zmana. After chatzais, until chatzais. For six hours, you get the schar of tefillah on time. You can't ve'elach afterwards, schar tefillah. Yohav le'kama, you get schar tefillah b'zmana, la yohav le'k. Period. End of story. Okay? Now, okay, steps. Uh, underline the kasha. It's a good question. Does it, does it count to tap also? Yeah, I would say here that it's really the whole thing. Um, this really is the main part of the question. I think Rebbe meant the entire thing. This is all a proof, right? This is an introduction to the proof. And this is, um, and, and, but presumably this entire part really is part of the question. And then bracket the terrets. So we answered ad chatzais here. Ad chatzais until here. Let me get a different column. Okay, at chatzais, until chatzais, yohev le, right? Tfila, yohev le, schar tfila bezman. Mikan ve'elech, from this point on, schar tfila, yohev le, he gets a reward for davening, schar tfila bezman, la yohev le, that's the end of the text. Now, what I really wanted to um, show you, I'm going to do this and then come back to it. This is 
what I found really interesting. Okay, here we go. Now, if you remember, let, let's zoom out a little bit so we could see it all. Now, this is just another one of Rebbe's ways of getting us to, to find that, right, for each step, right, what type of step it is, and a brief explanation. Now, the reason that this is interesting is because as we go and run through the Gemara, what's important is the two steps that we did today. Remember, we had a Kasha and a Teretz, right? We had a Kasha here. Step number five was a question. Um, step number six is an answer, right? So this was a Kasha. This is today's Gemara. This is really, really, really important, okay? And this is a Teretz. Now, Here's what's important. This kasha here does not go on the ants, the last answer of the Gemara. This question goes back up to the Mishnah. This is really, really important to understand how the logic goes. Okay, so let, let's review now. So step number one, the Chacham say, Shachras until Chatzais, Rabbi Hudi says is in four hours. But we, so we had a question, we had a kasha, oops, that that's Vasikin, right? How could you say that that's, ooh, that this, <laughs> it's jumping around. Okay, so we had a question about Vasikin. Step two was a kasha about Vasikin. Let's see if we can, <laughs> I'm going to stop moving. Okay, I give up. Okay, so this is a, uh, so this is a, I'll just put a kuf here. Okay, so this is a kasha. The kasha is, we had a, a question of Vasikin. Mara says that's only for special people to, to the mitzvahs because we have a state that's explained. A riot to that is that we said that the Sikhan finished in order that they could finish Gula Lutfila. Now, the next question, this kasha doesn't go on this answer. It goes back up to the Mishnah. So if you're following the steps, it's one, two, three, four in a straight line. And this goes back up to the Mishnah. Why? Because the Mishnah said it's either four or six hours, and now we have a question. The kasha is <laughs> that it's really no, 12 hours. Okay, so the, the Mishnah's kasha, the, this kasha here is that it's 12 hours. So that is not congruent with what we're saying here. That's not going back on the last answer. It's actually going back on the Mishnah. So this is really a, a very important part of of the logical flow is to be able to determine which parts uh, are, are, this is the next Gemara, which starts in But uh, um, again, to remember that, that just to finish, to summarize, we're going to get to a, a, a new Gemara in Shear 4. Uh, but again, it's important to follow that this, these questions, when he came with this question, uh, when he said, the the bitmia that question sex sick was a teretz, but in step five where he asked this question here the chuli alma ad chatzais v'sulai right when he started with this wondrous question this question is going straight back to the mishnah so it's not going on the last question it's going all the way back to the mishnah okay so the the fifth step is we ask to to conclude we ask um why did you say only till chatzais? We know that it's it's actually after chatzais, right? It can go the whole day. So we answer that you don't get full, this you, right? This you get over here, you get full reward, and here you only get half reward. I hope you found it helpful. Um, see you tomorrow. Be well.